Hey guys, I am Velvet Hyde, and welcome to the first episode of Pokemon Nuranium Nuzlocke. This was the Pokemon game I had planned for years, and this was a surprise I was telling you for April. This is a game made by JV, and I'm just going to go the intro a little bit, not going to spoil myself with the stars or anything. So there, there are the rights, also rights to Nintendo as well. This is kind of, Nuranium was in the category of, I believe, like Brick Bronze, because it was given a cease and desist, and it's known as the banned Pokemon game, but, I've, but I double checked on YouTube to see. I'm sorry, I just got back from bike rides, so I'm a little bit iffy today, but nevertheless, hold on a minute. Alright, so Pokemon Uranium, aka the banned Pokemon game, this, is, this kind of falls in the category of Brick Bronze. But it's a mobile game, not a Brawl Blocks game. And people can play it. Pokemon New Random version. Yay! So the reason I'm doing this now is because, well, the thing is, I'm a gaming channel, not a Pokemon channel. It kind of saddens me that only my Pokemon videos actually get views and comments. But I decided to hold off on Reborn for a little bit. I did have an issue uploading episode 42 of Reborn. So that's gonna either be Friday or Monday. Neranium, I'm only posting one or two episodes a month until Reborn is like finished, until the update comes out. Now, if the update does ruin our save files, um, then we're gonna start all over. But if it doesn't, I'll just get, I'll continue it until we get to the very end. So I believe episode 19 is the last update. I'm not sure. So, I believe it was known as the banned Pokemon game because of the audio. Like, some of the Pokemon's audio were the same as the original Pokemon, and there are original Pokemon in here as well. So it's a mix. So it's a little bit like Brick Brawn, both fan-made Pokemon. I know the creators of Brick Brawn had remakes done. The main issue is, with all Brick Brawn's reposts, they usually don't give rights to the actual owners. There is a Brick Bronze game out now that do have your save files, so here's a question. In the future, do you guys want me to do a Nuzlocke version of Pokemon Brick Bronze? Well, I'll give all the rights to the right people, which is Nintendo and Lama Studios, which are also the same creators behind their remade game of Brick Bronze, Lumion Legacy, which I will be doing a Nuzlocke of as well, or a playthrough of it in honor of the Brick Bronze game. So down in the comments, let me know if you do want to see me play Brick Bronze, like the version people are playing, but I'll give the rights to the right people. Because all they're really doing is just copy and pasting it. There's, they're just, um, just, they're just reposting it. Like a copy and paste thing. But I won't, but the only rights are to Nintendo and Lama Studios themselves, so that's really a good summary of it. But nevertheless, let's get started. The reason I'm doing a Nuzlocke of this is because I wanted to. So yeah, I thought this was, the, I thought Uranium at first was from the same creators from Reborn and Rejuvenation. Because of what it looks like, but I guess this is what all games look like if it's a Pokemon mobile game i'm not sure okay so okay so we can have a nuzluck mode or i'm gonna use regular mode because this is my first time playing this game i do like the background though so if you're wondering why i'm doing a nuzluck of this instead of a playthrough um because i just want to my first time playing it so why not plus now the nuzlocks are fun even though i just lost arctic in the other one so, if you don't know what a Pokemon Nuzlocke is, essentially a set of three main rules. One, you have to nickname all of your Pokemon. Two, if it fangs during a battle, it's considered dead and you can't use it anymore. And if all six of your members die in a battle, the Nuzlocke is over. No matter what, and gotta start all over. And then the last rule is you can only catch the first Pokemon you encounter per route, but Shinies, Statics, and Gift Pokemon do not count. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Oh, hello! My name is Bambo. Interesting. One word from being something else. 
and I don't see and I don't see antlers on you. Uh, but if you find that hard to pronounce, you just call me the Pokemon Professor. You're the kind of kid who is applying for a job here, right? Great. Want the lowdown on what you're doing? Um, uh -huh. sure. I love you journey across the region collecting specimens of my research. Or for my research. Along the way, sure to encounter all kinds of people. Some are willing to cooperate and some not. But you should try and be friendly with everyone. They don't want a bad reputation, right? Now, I believe this game is known for having a new type as well. Because I've heard things about it. I've. Re I've. Just little look for a. S I'm trying to catch my breath. Sorry, I just got back from biking. Pokemon Uranium, I believe, is also known for because my because I asked one of my friends who played the game all the way through, and she said yes, there is a new type. So that's I believe is what stands out a little bit more. People ask for your help solving mysteries or lending them a hand when they're down. Won't be easy. There's dangers everywhere. Whenever it be wild creatures or people on on tents with ill intent, you'll need to be on your guard. But keep a clear head on your shoulders. Get an item shade of pulse just fine. Okay, controls. Okay, so it's not as complicated. Alright, move the main character. Arrow keys. C is for choice and talking and basically you're selecting. X is exit. Z is running. F5 is to register a key. I have no idea why. Um... Controls. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Oh, how cute! Wait, why isn't it making any noises? Um, one minute. That's odd. It wasn't making any noises. We humans share this world with creatures known as Pokemon. More than mere animals, Pokemon possesses astonishing powers and remarkable intelligence. People and Pokemon coexist in many ways. Some pe some Pokemon are kept as pets, others have both work, and others still are used in battle by trainers such as yourself. For some reason, the other two sessions were turned off. I have no idea why. Like I said, the audio was used with other fake Pokemon. That's probably why. But we'll see if anything changed. I think the menu also clicks as well. But there's so much we don't know about Pokemon. That's my job. I studied Pokemon for a living, especially. I'm an expert on Pokemon elements. Ah! Call back to Generation 1. They called types elements. Each Pokemon has an elemental type, and each type has its own strengths and weaknesses. But why do they exist? Are they new types we have have discovered yet? Ah, but I'll tell you more on your first day on the job. Report to my lab tomorrow and get your first Pokemon. Let me fill out from this form here. Alright, so we can choose our avatar. So blue, green, and pink. Nice combination. Okay, this reminds me of Steve. She looks neat. She kinda reminds she kinda reminds me of the emerald avatars. Why does she look derped? I do like the hair though, that's pretty interesting. So Let's go with her. Yes, I'm sure. Okay. And our name is obviously Velvet, because this is a Velvet Hide. Yes, it is. I'm gonna go with my full name, because why not? Your journey, your story is about to unfold. The future is a blank slate. You, together with your Pokemon, are going to fill it. There'll be challenges and thrillers, and you're bound to make exciting discoveries. Let's go. <coughs> <coughs> Ten years ago, Velvet Hide's family lived in. Beale. How do you say that? Beale Beach City. The largest city in Tandor. Oh, is this the dad? Huh. Interesting. He's like a site. Oh, a Pokemon Ranger. Is that a callback to the Pokemon Ranger Pokemon games? Or something? Their father, Kellyan, was a brave and talented Pokemon Ranger. This is... Okay, this, is, this must be the mom. 
Their mother, Lucille, was a brilliant scientist and an expert on nuclear energy. Also, don't spoil me of anything story-wise. Like, what, like, my viewers like to give me comments on certain things to help me out, but don't spoil anything with story-wise, unless it's something serious like a battle or something. Like, trainer-wise. Although they both worked demanding jobs, they always found some time at home to spend with their, their young velvet hide. The Tandor region was at peace, and the seals company was working on a form of clean energy that would change the world. I have hiccups. God damn it! Dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh shoot, what was that? That just... That just... Um, exit automatically. Something about, like, everything was good or peaceful until... I don't know. It was an ordinary day at the nuclear power plant where Seal worked. As part of a routine inspection, they brought in a specialist to take a look at the electrical system. Interesting. Okay. Cameron, have you finished your diagnostics? Yes, I have. Everything seems to be working perfectly. This generator design really does the job very well, Lucille. Excellent. If everyone has finished their work, we'll break for lunch. Uh, boss, you might want to take a look at this. Strange. The temperature readings are far higher than normal. Either we need to reset the, th the thermometer, or... The reactor is leaking a massive amount of heat. It can't be the thermometer, I just checked that, so... Uh oh! Must be breaching the reactor, as this temperature in a few minutes will have a total meltdown. Everyone needs to evacuate now. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. Lucille, you have to leave too. What is she doing? Why are you going downstairs? Lucille, why is she going downstairs? Oh my god. With Cameron's myself, all the signs are able to escape unscathed. WHY DID SHE GO DOWNSTAIRS?! <coughs> Sorry, a minute. OH MY GOD! WHY DID SHE GO DOWNSTAIRS?! WHY DID SHE GO DOWNSTAIRS?! WHY?! She was never seen again after that day. The radiation leaking from the broken radar made it the surroundings area uninhabitable for many, many years. Finally, any time to try and search for her. She died! But wh wh why did she do that? She just died! She could have lived if she went the other direction! She was just standing there like it was her fault! I don't know why! The loss of his wife had a profound effect on Kellyan. His pronouncing changed change, he became cold and dedicated to his work. In time, he got promoted to chief of the Dandor Pokemon Rangers. However, he became too busy to care for his child. So, young Velva was sent to live with her eldest auntie in Maka or Maki town. <coughs> Ten years passed. Auntie is health warned. It's putting a child with too much work for her. Fortunately, Ernest Bambo's local Pokemon. Professor was looking for a research assistant. Two kids from. I said Maki? Or Moki? Moki Town applied Velvet Hide and their childhood friend Theo. It was common for use of a certain age to receive a Pokemon travel to the region as a Pokemon trainer. And so Velvet's journey began. Well, that's everything to process. So, the wife. <coughs> I'm sorry. I had to cough for a minute. So, our mom in this game. I don't know if it, if she thought it was her fault or what. But why did she go downstairs? That's the thing. Why did she do that? Velvet Hyde, you 
are late. Oh, okay, that must be the NT. Okay, we don't have running shoes. Wow, this is. It looks like the game saves automatically because I can't save it automatically or um manually. I mean, so this is where. This is Auntie's room. So this must be our aunt. Okay, I just pressed the enter key. That works for talking to. Velvet hide, sweetie. Today's your big day, isn't it? I can't help but feel gloom seeing my little all grown up and leaving home. Oh, if there's only these two bones, old bones we do more that I can support us both. But we both know that you're ready for this. You and that boy Theo. Always following your footsteps, that one. You've always been so capable. I wonder about him. He's the youngest, after all. I'm sure his father- Oh! Theo is Cameron's son! Interesting! So, he lives nearby as well, I'm guessing. That is interesting! So, Cameron lives nearby. I'm sure his father Cameron wouldn't allow him to go unless he was sure. Anyway, celebrate your big day. I got your present. Go ahead, open it. Yay, running shoes! <laughs> oh, don't mind me, sweetie. I'm just an emotional old lady. If only your father were here right now, I'm sure he'll be proud of you too. And I'm positive you run into him during your adventure. No, I shouldn't keep you any longer. See out of that nice professor man for me, will you? Then if you don't mind stopping by again, have you got your first Pokemon? I love to see it. Goodbye, sweetie, and good luck. She's so sweet. Oh, so this is. I don't know how to pronounce it. Is it Moki or Maki? I think it's Moki. You know, my mind in from Reborn. Huh. Okay, what's this? Route 3. Okay. Hi. Driven grown up so fast. No, not as long ago. It seemed like I was one myself. But sure to follow your journey. Thank you. Wow. Okay, so this is actually very peaceful. Your house was over here somewhere? No, nope, this is it's dangerous without Pokemon. What is this? Okay. Can I just read the sign? Okay, never mind. So is this our house or uh hi. Wow, the graphics here remind me of like the reboot version of Fire Red almost. Wow, this is really neat. And also with learning a this actually uh, actually this is more like a platinum. The graphics are a lot like platinum. Or black and white. I'm I haven't played black and white before. Hi. Oh, wow! We just got ourselves a rare candy! That's awesome! So what's this? Oh, hi! Oh my gosh, are these our starters? Wait up! Where do you think you're going? Are huh? you trying to get to lot before me so you can get the better Pokemon? Well, that ain't gonna happen. I was just doing what I was told. Cause I'm gonna be the strongest one first! Try to keep up, Velvet! So I'm guessing that's Theo? Oh, hi! Oh, 
wow. Okay, so... I don't want to spoil myself. I only saw the first two. You know what? I'm going to show myself these right now. Huh, are these the starters? So we got a fire type. Is that a water electric type? No! Oh, that is crazy dope. And then we have a, looks like a grass type. Oh, he's so cute. He's like a little kitten. Little making muffins. But water electric, that is cool. I'm picking that one. I am picking that one. So, I can't move my character. Oh, there you go. Hey, it was involved hide and uh, your friend. Tony, was- Tommy, was it? Honestly, Pomp, can you remember my name? It's Theo! Theo! Right, right, Theo. You're just in time. Today's a very special day for you both. It's your first day at work as field research assistants at Pambo Pokemon Research Labs. Your job will have you traveling across the Tendor, observing and capturing many different kinds of Pokemon to help me with my research on Pokemon elements. I have three Pokemon here that will aid you in your journey. Before you get to your starters, you know, we'll set the Pokemon trainer. We have to take a test. Test? I didn't study for any test. I thought you were going to give us a rare, powerful Pokemon. No, no, don't worry. It's not the kind of test you have to study for. Just a way to determine what kind of Pokemon training you will be. Different starter Pokemon are better suited for different battling styles. A trainer Pokemon will have your lifetime partner. So it's important for you to work well together. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Enough talking. I want to get my Pokemon. <coughs> oh my god, these voices are hurting my throat. Shush, kid, you're not very patient, are you? Well, you got that right. If you want to know more about what's on the test before we begin, you can talk to my aid. Now then. Velvet Hyde, are you ready to take on the test? Excellent, now without further ado, when you encounter a new kind of Pokemon in the wild, what is your first reaction? Okay, so I'm gonna answer this honestly. Because why not? Okay, so wait and see what it does. Attack it right away. Throw a Pokeball at it. Um, that's usually what I do depending on the level. I usually either attack it or throw a Pokeball at it. I do that a lot with Shinies. So throw a Pokeball at it is usually what I do first. Very good, both of you. Come on, that was easy. Give me a tougher one. Okay, okay, okay. Which of these teams would you prefer to teach your Pokemon? Oh! Hyper Beam, Protect, Hidden Power. Hyper Beam takes two turns. Protect is really good. Hidden Power. It's also iffy. Uh, a lot of Pokemon can learn Protect, though. I mean, Hidden Power is a, a luck-based move, so I'm gonna go with Protect. Because Hidden Power is kind of an iffy one as well. You don't know what a TM is. Oh boy. Which of the following Pokemon would you win in an all-out battle? Give me my sheep. Final question. Answer it honestly. What is your motivation for coming to Pokemon Trainer? Um. I know I thought I selected two blue and one green, so I want to see what happens. I mean, Pokemon Trainer, nothing to stand in my way. Because green and blue is something I do, like, do often. And I do like to explore. That's it for the Pokemon test. Now to analyze your results. What did I get? Okay, I finished my analysts. So, who do I get? Or who does Theo get? Velvet Hide. 
You seem to be a trainer who likes to play it safe. Patience and endurance are your biggest assets. You know the best things in life that come to wait. For a defense trainer like you... Oh! Okay! Or... Orchniks? Go ahead and take it, Velvet Hide. Orchnix looks really cute. It's like a... Of course! So... Orchnix seems to... Or, or John... Or, yeah, okay, so... Orchard, I think it's... Okay, so it's like a mix of Orchard and... Onyx, maybe? Orchnix, I believe it's called. So I'm gonna name you Painter. Because you have that tail that reminds me of a paintbrush, and I'm an artist myself, so Painter is your name. Tired of waiting. Got a starter already. I know I get mine. Patience. Oh my goodness. So he probably gets the starter that's the strongest against us. So that would be the little dinosaur mouse thing. Surely you know what you want out of life. Pulses and patience can cost money to your own desires. Hmm. Interesting. So... He's probably gonna give us the strongest one because... He sees potential. Can't tell. Regardless, we're a trainer like you. Interesting! Eel Tux. Water electric, I, I assume? He got the weaker one! Interesting! My first Pokemon! You have a Pokemon? And I have Pokemon too! You know what that means, right? We have to battle! Oh, he's not in the lab. Uh, too late! <laughs> Oh, so that's what Theo looks like. And then there's us. Yeah, I get a lot of emerald vibes from my... Oh. So you have to turn on the noises yourself. Okay, well, all rights to the creator, um, JV, and everyone else who made the noises. All copyrights to Nintendo as well. All rights to people who made the noises. And everyone else. I didn't realize that you had to put on the noises yourself. Okay, so we have Scratch. Oh, this is neat! Okay, I'm gonna go with Leech Seed ahead of time. Water Gun. Interesting, so the health bars are a little different. A little slow, but anything new. That's it. Um, okay, let's do growl. Oh my god, I love this guy! I love this guy! The noise is so cute! Scratch barely does anything. I wonder if there's any shinies in this game. How much does Scratch... Oh, great. Water Gun does four damage. So we have a couple of turns left, so we're gonna have to spam Scratch. So it is water electric! Oh no. We need one more Scratch! We need one more Scratch! Please do not crit us now! Let's go first. Dang it! I think we just lost. Nope. Only three. Do we win? Yay! We won! That was a lot tougher than I thought. Come on. Oh, come on! You couldn't go all the way! What? But I was about to win! But how? I'm supposed to be the best trainer.
trainer ever. That's impossible. Good trainers never lose. Wee! Please don't, please don't cry, Theo. Here, I'll hear Pokemon for you. Speed's a little slow. Don't know why. He wanted to be an unbeatable trainer. How come I couldn't win? Well, you have a water electric type, and water is weak to grass, so... That's pretty type advantage. Water beats fire, fire beats grass, and grass beats water. Test elemental type triangle? Well, one of them at any rate. Learning to master type mashups is an important part of being a trainer. No way, I want a do-over. How come Velvet High gets better starter? Ah, uh, you're like the fire type Ash Ketchum. Generation 1. Uh, bye. Took that harder than I hoped. Well, it's just a kid. You can't really blame him. Well, you shouldn't be so quick to judge him. He's I, exactly what I just said! I expected to recover or discover that training Pokemon isn't easy as he imagined. I'm going to the entrance of Route 01 by the edge of town. Bring Theo, and I'll teach you both how to catch Pokemon. See you later. Alright, so in case you're wondering, a Nuzlocke only begins when you get Pokeballs, and since you don't have ours yet, our Nuzlocke doesn't count so far. Like, if my starter were to lose that battle, then it won't really matter. So, welcome Painter the Orch- I don't know how to pronounce that thing. Where is Theo's house? I'll try in here, I guess. Orchnix, I believe it's how you pronounce it. Because it, if you combine the words Orchard and Onyx, that's probably what you get. Let's take a look at Painter, by the way. Bag Pokemon. Let's look at your stats. A Grass Steel type? Oh, wow, you're super weak to fire. Wow, it's a Grass Steel type. Okay, Ability, Battle Armor. Okay! Protect against critical hits, that's neat. Gotta work on your defense, special defense, and... Yeah. Gotta work on those two. I never understood the, the circle, triangle, rectangle, and heart thing. I never understood that. So you're number one in the Pokédex. That's neat. So bag, a velvet high, save, save. Okay, good. So I have to do this manually. Options and exit. Then we can run! Okay, so where- Oh, we have to show our auntie our new Pokemon. Oh, well, you came back to say goodbye. How sweet. Is that your Pokemon? What's it called? Orchdix? It's so cute. Come back when you need a rest or if you want to humor your old aunt. Oh, thank you. So sweet. I mean, that's the least I could do, or the best I could do for our auntie, is to show her our new Pokemon. So I think... Uh, I don't know where Theo is. That's the end. This is... I don't know if Theo lives to the left or the right. I see rocks, so maybe he's over here? <coughs> oh, there you go. What did you do to my son? He ran upstairs crying and locked the door behind him. He won't tell me what's wrong or come downstairs. He was just he here. Oh, don't you blame this on me, you old turd. Don't you dare talk to me like that. It's not my fault he threw a tantrum. So that's how it is. So he got a weaker starter and you beat him in a battle. Hmm? I see, that explains it. Yeah, don't go going to conclusions. Really? You were just mean to me, and threatening me, and now you're going all gentle? Yeah, I don't want to deal with your crap right now, so your son is your responsibility. I'm, I just have to help him out with Pokemon. That's it. I bet you th You know what, Cameron? I bet you threw a couple tantrums and right in front of him because he learns that from you because you're both based on... You, you literally look like fire types to me. The hair. I'm. I'm. I'm just roasting this guy right now. I mean, he was so mean to. He was so mean to my trainer. That wasn't my fault. He was chosen the weaker starter. He was impatient. 
Trainer is winning. He has a heart set on the day being perfect. So losing right off the bat is somewhat of a shock. Crime will solve anything. That's something he has to learn. Yeah. Oh my god. Theo! Oh, you're yelling at him? That's not gonna help. You can't cry every time you lose a battle. That's just a part of being a trainer. It's fair. She had the better starter than me. Now I'm never gonna win. Well, water is drawn against fire, so... Yeah. You have to catch more Pokemon to balance out your team's weaknesses. Besides, a well-balanced Pokemon can still- a well-raced Pokemon can still win, even at a disadvantage. There's no sense in giving up before you even begin. Yes, Dad. Now, Theo, I always- always plan to pick you back up when you're falling down, so try to be strong for yourself, okay? Please be patient with my son. He looks up to you, you know. Oh, I nearly forgot. I have something for you both. I get present. I don't like the dad. I really don't. Your father, Hellion, sent me these and told me that I'd give you both when you begin when you begin your journey. I'm sure it'll come in useful. Okay. Poke paw. Is that the Pokédex? Oh. Oh, so it's like um. It's like our little um watch thing in Reborn. So stay in touch. So it's like the watch in Platinum. I got a red one. It's cooler than yours. I meet the Pokemon Professor by the edge of town. we the first one to catch a Pokemon. Bye! Okay, well, bye. Dramatic turnaround. He only bounces back quickly. You don't want to keep the Professor waiting, so you should get moving, too. I won't, I won't see you or Theo again for some time. You see, I'm starting a new job soon. I'm supervising the construction of the new Pokemon power plant. Perhaps I'll see you there in time. After all, it's the last piece Lucille has ever seen. Oh no, that's where Lucille died. Oh, that's not good. Best of luck on your journey, Velvet. Alright, well I am going to leave this off. We are going to catch our first Pokemon in the next episode. We got our starter painter, the Orchnix, and I have no idea how to pronounce that name. But, um... Yeah, so this is very interesting. Our first fan-made game that had fake Pokemon in it, besides Brook Bronze, of course. I played that on my own way back in the day, but I would like to replay it someday. Of course, with the right rights, of course. Maybe in the future I will. But in any case, I hope you guys enjoy this episode of Pokemon Iridium. An episode of Arena will be uploaded once or twice a month until Reborn is done. But in any case, I am Velvet Hyde, and I wish you all a good night.